Devolution is very important. But it's very clear that devolution has been constrained. The countries that have developed in the world we were discussing are the countries that have really embraced devolution. When we get money late, we don't get money late because there's no money. We get money late because the priority of funding counties is really not there. Tukuku chini kabisa. They fund others before they find uh, counties. President Uru Kinyata, wherever he goes, watu wanawambia hakuna pesa. Ukiuliza hapa na nyuki vileo, watu wanasema hakuna pesa kwa mfuko. Kwa nini? Because money is not trickling to the ground. And if you don't fund counties, it means that money will not go to the ground. Pesa nabakia kule kwa bazi, bazu peke yake wadosi. Wanainchu wanawandila na umaskini. So as governors, we are going to push to get devolution to be properly funded. And also the bottlenecks, the bureaucracy of, bureau of uh, getting things done by counties need to be removed. Because when counties are in powers, they get ahead. I want to promise the people of Kenya that as a presidential candidate who understands both the national government having worked for over 10 years, nearly 10 years, and worked also in the county governments, I understand the importance of funding devolution. And as a president of this country, I'll make sure that majority of the money that is stuck in the national government is poured here machinani. I'm also very key and I understand that people are taxed too much. Kama serikali tuache kuumiza wananchi. Counties we are taxing. National government tunapisha watu kodi. Watu wambilipisha kodi kabisa. Lazima tupindue akilize katika hali ya kufanya uchumi. Tufanya ili nito broadening the base. Tuinue uchumi wetu ndi watu wakue wengi wanaulipa ushuru na tupunguza ushuru kwa watu wetu. Ndi watu wabakia na pesa kwa mfuko. Lazima tufanya kama vile wanafanya Singapore, Dubai, Canada na kuingine. Si kuumiza wachache. Mama mboga analipishwa na county, serikali kuu, VAT kila mahali, ukiamko kwa nagari yako, ukipinduka, unalipishwa kodi. Wanainchi wa Kenya melipishwa kodi ya kutosha. Mimi kama rais wa inchi yetu, nitatua bureaucracy, broaden the base, kuleta manufacturing, di watu walipe pesa kidogo wabakia na pesa ya kujivinjari, ya kujienjoy na kuishi maisha vizuri. Jana usiku tumemwona Uhuru Kinyata akifungua hospitali usiku. Na mimi nafurahia sana. Tulikuwa na jana state house tukasema kwamba lazima tupigane na hii shida ya corona, watu kukusanyika. Lakini pia kuzunguka usiku inamaanisha ya kwamba rais wetu amejitolea ya kwamba hata kuwe na corona lazima atatafuta mbiu na njia za kuendeleza maendeleo. Na mimi namuunga mkono sana kwa sababu mimi katika urais wangu na ukuja mimi nitataka tuwe na 24 hour economy watu wanafanya usiku na mchana sio mambo usiku tu watu kulala peke yake we cannot afford to sleep in this country we want our leaders working day and night wengi wamezoea wengine wanafanya mchana wengine wanaiba usiku mimi na furaha uhuru kinyata anafungua hospitali usiku ndio zitibu watu wetu anafungua miradi usiku bila kukusanya watu afanye kazi usiku na mchana ndio tuweze kupata haki yetu kama mayo wananchi tuweze kuendelea. Na mimi naona vile uhuru anafanya kazi sijui kama yuko jubilia ama ameweza kushika formula ya maendeleo chap chap. Kwa sababu hiyo ndio maendeleo chap chap na fikara zetu na kuanga namna hiyo. Unafanya kazi usiku na mchana. Na mimi namwambia uhuru Kinyata hata baada ya kutoka ka serikali wewe jiunge na maendeleo chap chap tuendelee kufanya kazi na wewe. Kwa sababu naona hiyo mitindo yako imekuwa sawa kabisa.